Hello everybody. In this video, I will be introducing you to my Vocab Booster series and uh, the main purpose of this series is to help people develop their vocabulary and it will be useful for uh, students who want to have a better vocabulary and speak better and also working people who are trying to improve their vocabulary for career benefits. There are different ways in which the vocabulary of a person can be improved. We will discuss that in detail in another video. But in this video, I will take you through uh, a simple method of uh, using videos and some activities which really help people gain new words and improve their vocabulary. So, I will be taking you through some interesting vocabulary in this video. The first one which we will look at is egghead. Egghead basically means a very studious and academic person. Basically, egghead can be an intellectual. How this phrase or expression is used is also related to uh, who is speaking this and also in what tone. For example, between friends and people who know each other, it can be used in a very casual, friendly tone. Hello, egghead. How are you? Look at that egghead. He's always looking at uh, uh, different things and not really interested in fun activities. So people people can use it in a friendly way. Uh, some people also use it for making fun. Hmm? Uh, what a egghead. What a egghead he is. Hmm? He is always like this. Such an egghead. Hmm? So people say stuff like that. Uh, so this is what egghead is but it, it, it is depending on the tone and the way in which people use it then tough cookie tough cookie you might have heard this somewhere um, there are a lot of expressions with cookie in it uh, maybe because cookie is such a, a popular uh, snack item also so tough cookie basically means a strong and very determined person a person who is inherently strong doesn't accept defeat easily um, it can be mentally tough and maybe physically tough also combination of both is possible hmm? so don't mess with him he's a tough cookie he won't crack easily he's a tough cookie hmm? um, you have to be nice with him then he will uh, sort of be friendly with you otherwise he's a tough cookie so, you know, there are different ways in this. This expression can be used and used in a lot of different context as well. Big cheese. So, this is not a, a frequently heard expression, but a lot of people use it in different parts of the world. Big cheese basically means a powerful and influential person. He's such a big cheese. He thinks he's a big cheese. Do you know who he is? He is a big cheese. No, people use it in different ways to show how powerful and influential a person is. In a way, uh, there is a, a making fun of that person element also. But then cheese is uh, loaded with calories. It is considered to be a tasty uh, product, food by many people. So in that sense, you know, it is a it's a positive image and a very uh, uh, fat rich image which comes with this expression then maybe this is something a lot of people uh, will find interesting if you don't know it already couch potato a lazy person who watches tv too much so being a couch potato is not seen positively don't be such a couch potato he's he's a couch potato these days so somebody who uh, maybe sits around doesn't like activity much uh, get stuck watching TV too much. There's actually something called screen addiction or TV addiction even. Screen addiction is more popular these days, you know, as people become couch potatoes. To a certain extent, maybe, you know, the COVID pandemic might have made more people couch potatoes. So it's basically not a healthy thing. So if somebody calls you for fun or maybe in a, in a serious manner calls somebody a couch potato, it's not a very positive reference unless it is a friend or person who really likes you who calls you that it's a friendly way of uh, using that expression so couch potato uh, we have to be careful how we use it you know uh, if you become a couch potato it is not going to be good for you you become already become a couch potato people may say like that in conversation so these are some expressions describing people we'll be back with uh, more such uh, interesting and different kind of expressions later. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy.